Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam nyasa alo. Koholo yimla, yahawa bashim yahawa shai, baha shimra kaha kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yahweh Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, I've done a lesson on this a week or so back, but now they finally, you know, caught this guy that, you know, supposedly shot. You know, um, two 18-year-old women and um, a two-year-old and a six-year-old at the park over two chicks fighting. One of the women called, you know, him, you know, and he came through, <laughs> you know, and went to shooting up a bunch of damn women, man. You know, but this, you know, they don't have a picture in here of him, but let me go out real quick. This is the guy right here. See? Which is just, you know, a and, and, and you know, when I seen this, I want to just, just say, at what point do um, did the Jews go through this type of um, torture or, or terrorizing amongst their own community? Because that's a part of the curses. That's a part of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Right. Matter of fact, let me get it real quick. Let me get the title real quick. 17 year old charged with attempted murder and quadruple shooting. Injuring young women and kids at Detroit Park. When was the last time you heard of a, a, a you know, um, a Jewish person shooting their women, their children, doing drive-bys, you know, out on the block with the gun, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 hanging out of the window, doing them um, donuts and shit in a charger, you know. When was the last time you've seen anything like that from them? They're not under that curse. They live quietly and peacefully in their in their neighborhoods. And if you and, and if anything were to happen to one of them like that, you know, <laughs> it would be broadcast all over the news, you know, uh, on some anti shit. But, you know, let's get this. Let's get this scripture real quick. Because I, I, I really have to ask, you know, like, are they really going? Are they under those curses? Are there people going through these curses, man? Nope. This is um. now this is a part of it. Let me start from the top. Deuteronomy um, chapter 28 and let me verse 1 blessings for obedience right now this was you know a part of the this was a contract between Yahweh and the children of Israel the children of Israel agreed to this contract this is not for every other nation that's another thing with the replacement theology I've done a lesson on that last night um, the spiritual of Israelite shit that's bullshit the Lord only made a contract with the children of Israel. He only chose the children of Israel. Now, this is the, the first part of the contract. Verse 1, Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord Yahweh thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Are we on high above all the nations on the earth? Hell no, we are at the tail end. We are at the, 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 the bottom of the barrel for real, for real. We get the worst of services in every area, the worst of the education in this bitch, the worst of places to stay, the worst of food, the, the worst of water quality, liquor stores on every fucking corner, abortion clinics on every corner, you know, and the list goes on and on. They push that bullshit rap music on our people. They push uh, 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 these bullshit movies on our people. You see, you don't see no um um no 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 um Jewish people uh, uh, uh doing no goddamn gangster rap with 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 the you know they got the little bitty hat in their head with the little curly Shirley Temples and shit hanging off the side of their damn face uh, uh with the gun talking about what they gonna do to their own people. You don't see that shit. Get out of here, man. Anyway, let's get let's get verse fifteen. Now, that's what would happen if we were obedient. It goes off into the um, curses for disobedience. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right? 
cursed shalt thou be in the city, <laughs> and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Now, I, I, it, the, if you read through this thing, it goes down to verse sixty-eight. Now I want to get to verse fifty-four. Let's get, um, let's get to the point. This is one of the curses right here, right? So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. Who's notorious for that? Mainly the so-called blacks, but the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. This is this is nothing, man. This is, you know, our, our, our women are against us. The children are against us. You know, it's just it's, it's all kind. And Esau, the so-called white man. He pushes this type of discord on our people. Right? So, this is only happening to a certain race of people. You don't see this amongst, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's crime in every um, nation of people. Don't get me wrong with that. But I'm talking about as a whole, as a whole, we don't own any banks. We're not giving out any loans. We're always, you know, on the, uh, you know, on the receiving end of a high-ass interest rate. And we're getting a loan. That's if, even if we get it. We have the worst diseases. Sexually transmitted diseases running rampant in the neighborhoods. You got diabetes. You got a cancer rate is through the roof. Um, you know, just it's just it's, it, this is this. These curses are on us. They're not on no other nations like that. Everything that goes down in the world, we get the blame for. We're the mascot for LGBTQ. When the Lord told us to be um, fruitful and multiply. But what are our women are doing? Our women are, I don't think no Jewish, I ain't never heard of no Jewish people going to um, get no abortions. Now they could be, you know. You know, I'm sure some of the secular ones or so-called secular ones that's just like, oh yeah, I'm a Jew, but I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I'm, a, I'm, I'm an atheist. Them, yeah, cool. You know, they might be doing something like that. But I'm talking about as a whole, as a nation of people. They're not going out and, 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 and getting abortions by the hundreds of thousands per year. That's on us as a people. Verse 56, it says, The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the, the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter. See? Eve out here killing the kids. And if, if they make it out of the, the belly... They, they 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 got a a, a a mountain to climb, man, to, to get to an adulthood in this place, man. And no other race of people are going through that like how we're going through that. These people have quiet, clean neighborhoods. You look at Jake, man, that motherfucker throw a McDonald's bag out the window doing 60 down a side street. He'll toss a, 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 a fucking glass bottle of liquor out of his fucking window and, 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 and that shit shatters. And, and you got to dodge goddamn glass to keep from busting your tires. <laughs> you damn. Hey, that's Jake, man. These people are not going through this stuff, man. So we know who the Israelites are. Matter of fact, let me get that too in here. We, we understand the scriptures. We know who the children of Israel are by these curses. And those people don't fit these curses. Deuteronomy 28 and 46, it says, And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So this is, you know, it's like a sign. It's like, you know, if you see a McDonald's sign, you know you at McDonald's. You know you can get a Big Mac, man. And that's the only place you can get a Big Mac. Anybody else pushing a Big Mac, they getting sued. You see that big ass M? You see that the, the golden arches? They got their own original smell. You can smell the shit through the hood like Burger King. You can smell them flame, or, you, or at least you used to. They didn't got rid of all the Burger Kings and shit around where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's Esau Edom's kingdom falling. And see, as the Israelites are starting to raise up and starting to recognize who they are and starting to call back on Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, we're going back, you know, and, and, and we're remembering this contract. We're remembering this contract that we made with the Lord. See, the Lord, he, we was on, we was, hey, we was doing it, boiling out of control when we was listening to the Lord. But what, and the Lord told us, don't do what these other nations are doing. You know, there's more to the contract because you know, you don't, don't, hey, the Levitical law. Um, um, I mean, you got the dietary law, you got the civil law. You know, it's a lot to it. But it was very simple though. At, you know, when you really think about it, because of, um, the scriptures talks about how the Lord's, um. His words are not grievous. His, his laws are not grievous to keep. They actually bring peace and order. 
But once you get outside of what the Lord said, it's going to be complete chaos. And, and see, this is what Esau Edom, the so-called white man, does. He causes discord among brethren. He'll put the woman against the man. He'll set the woman up on high and bring the man down low. And it's not supposed to be that way because there's an order to this thing. If, if, if It's like um, putting a damn alternator where the starter is on a car. That shit not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work, man. You know, you got you have to have a, the, the correct spark plugs. You know, you have to have the correct juice. You know, for all kinds of shit, man. Even with the windshield wipers with a car. You know, that everything got to be in order for those windshield wipers to, to work properly. And see, that this is what this man has done. He has totally caused discord amongst us as a people. But that was used, it's, you know, the Lord used him to do it. This man is the Lord's sword. This man is the Lord's hand. The hammer. So when we got out of hand, the Lord would always send one of these heathenish nations to, to basically get our asses back in order because we start calling on the Lord. And now that's what we're doing in these last days. And this is what they're afraid of. This is what they don't want to happen. The Negroes are waking up. That main tribe, them Judites. They don't want that, man. But, but see, this right here, like I said, no other nation is going through this type of shit right here, man. It's this rampant just, and these niggas don't care. That's why we tell you to be careful when you're out in public. Definitely pray. Pray always. The scripture says to pray without ceasing. So you don't run across no niggas like this, man. The Lord can help you get around and avoid niggas like this. Because this was right up the street from our house. That happened. You hear gunshots and shit going off on the back block, this block, that block. I'm hearing them. Like, damn, that shit close. <laughs> you know? Sirens, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just in the crib posted, chilling, man, because I'm, you know, I, I get out and I make my couple of moves and I'm at the house mostly. I'm doing lessons or reading or listening to lessons or, you know, watching the news or something, man, trying to stay aware. Shit, the scripture says to be circumspect in these last days because the days are evil to watch and pray. You can't get enough of that. You got to pray, man. But, you know, I went, like I said, I went off into it. They got him on all these charges. I think they got him for, uh, let's see, they got him. He got four counts of assault with intent to murder. Four counts of assault with intent to do great bodily harm. One count of carrying a weapon with an unlawful intent. One count of carrying a concealed weapon. And nine counts of felony firearm. Esau, I'll give it to you, man. This motherfucker is going to be in jail when the Lord comes. That's, that's one of the last look. If I got to go to jail, I want it to be for this gospel. I want it to be for this truth, man. For serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Not for going to be no goddamn demon, man. Scripture talks about that too. This nigga is going to be in jail when the missiles come. He's going to be, that's going to be an oven, man. He's about to be in a conventional oven or microwave oven or just an oven, man. On broil. You know, when flame just, <laughs> or should I say bake, it's going to be hitting his ass from the top and bottom, sides to side. That, that man, I, I don't want to know. 17 years old you ain't coming out of there man you 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 gonna be there when the lord comes and do this place up and the scriptures talks about how some people hey they just just you know some just made to be destroyed man they just just fueled to the fire it says um just before 9 p.m that evening detroit police responded to stein park in the area of faustin westfield on the west side on a report of shots fire on the scene Prosecutor said officers found an 18-year-old woman lying face down on the ground, suffering from a gunshot wound to the head. See? And that's another thing, too, you women that are at ease. I mean, you know, it shouldn't be nothing for a woman to go out to the park. Because one of the women, well, you know, they say innocent. She had nothing to do with it. The kids, of course, a two-year-old and a six-year-old got hit. But, you know, we understand from Job 4 and 7 that no one is innocent here, man, on this planet, man. No one's innocent, man. Roughly paraphrasing. But this is why it's so important to get up and pray and ask for mercy on a day-to-day -day basis. Even if it's just you just praying the Lord's Prayer, but you should just be praying in general. But the Lord's Prayer go a long ways, man. It covers a lot. Okay, it says, um, on Monday, Police Chief James White said that one of the women remained in critical condition, confirming reports that the woman is pregnant. See, she was a pregnant woman. White said her unborn child is expected to survive. See, so the Lord is no respecter of persons, man. We understand, too, as well, 
You know, let's get that in the scriptures. See, the Lord not playing no games, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See, now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me, I kill, and I make alive, I wound, and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So that was the Lord, man. Spirits of vengeance are out here. That's also uh, a the Lord created spirits for vengeance to appease this wrath. Sirach 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour off their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the Lord be so pissed, man. He, hey, he got spirits to handle your ass. I'm going to get that. <laughs> you know? The Lord will get down on you. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment. Now, that's the scariest part right there. I mean, you know, when I first read this, it's kind of scary because it says they rejoice in, in getting a commandment to go and kill somebody. They rejoice. It says they rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So they're not like, you know, um, Lord, that's a pregnant woman. She's about to give birth. That's a two-year-old um, um, Yahweh. That's a six-year-old Yahweh. No, those are children. No, the Lord sent that spirit of vengeance on this nigga to go and get down. And I didn't want to keep it much longer. Like I said, I had done a lesson on it before, but these, hey, these niggas wicked, man. Jake is through. Jake is through. The, hey, the apostles will tell you all the time, hey, look, if you see a crowd of these niggas at a gas station, at a store, or any of that stuff, hey, you keep it moving. You go to the next gas station. You go to the next store. Because Jake, man, it, 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 they're, they're just vicious, man. They don't have no, no type of... And matter of fact, that's one of the things that the Lord said will be happening in the last days. Um, um, Perilous Time Show being um, in the last days. And one of the things that he mentioned was... Um, without natural affection fierce the people would be fierce they would be lovers of their own selves heady and high-minded traitors you know it's a whole list <laughs> a whole list of things and it, those things are happening that's how we know that we're in the last days this is why we tell our people a hey, repent 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 we're gonna keep saying that because we're out here to reach the elect of israel man we ain't thinking about none of these wicked ass this man he could repent for what he done it's nothing for the Lord that you know. Um, um, um. He could, hey, uh, man, a dude like this could actually be the one, a part of the elect. Who am I to say? <laughs> you know, because the Lord only knows who the who the elect are. That's why we say the hopeful elect. We're praying that we're a part of the hopeful elect. He could repent. He could repent, but at the same time, too. I mean, I, you know, hey, from the looks of things, I mean, you know, just from a physical um, looking in. You know, this guy going to be in jail, man, when the missiles hit. And not nice. I, I wouldn't want to be there, man. Okay, it says, um, the other woman and the two kids who were shot were innocent bystanders. Again, like we said, you know, no one, you know, is innocent on this, on this earth, man, who had no involvement in the dispute. This case is especially alarming because we are at the beginning of the season where our citizens, young and older, start enjoying the warmer weather in our city parks. Then a fight, a phone call, and a gun completely devastated a wonderful com a community gathering, said Prosecutor Kim Worthy. She'd been there for a while, too. No Noble was arraigned Thursday. And it's crazy. This motherfucker got bail. Noble, <laughs> Noble was arraigned Thursday afternoon before a magistrate, Malika Ramsey Heath. In 36th District Court, he was given a $500,000 cash bond with the conditions that he wear a GPS tether and will be on house arrest if he is released. See, when they do stuff like this, he's either a tear, a damn Edomite on the low, which I doubt it. I, I, I'm not thinking that, but he could be, though. Don't get me wrong, because there are people out here that look like us. That's not us. You have to understand that, you know, you, you got chocolate color Edomites and you have... um. You know, uh, uh, and so-called white-looking um, Israelites. So it's not a color thing. But I'm thinking the reason why they done this is because 
they pretty much know this. I mean, Esau, he sets it up where, it, where Jake just, just get, just grimy. This nigga is let back loose to just pretty much just go, you know, this nigga not finna stay in the house. They just looking for him to possibly just go out and just, you know, do something else to somebody else, you know? That's how Esau get down, man. He'll he'll let the, he'll let this motherfucker go right back on the streets. So, you know, just to just do some more terrorizing in his own neighborhood. Ain't no way this guy should have got no goddamn five five hundred thousand. Come on, bro. You crazy. This motherfucker should be put up against the wall, man. Firing squad. A bond redetermination hearing is in the case scheduled by um, for May 13th. Yeah, anyway. Shit is retarded. But this is this, this is um Jake, man. But I wanted to point out the main point that I wanted to point out is, do you wish people go through this? Are they a part? Are, are they under curses like this? Baby, coming. Ten forty four. But hey, do they go through this? When was the last time you heard of a uh, 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 of a Jewish um seventeen year old? Shooting and killing two uh, or not killing or, or shooting two of his, you know, two women, one of them being pregnant and a two or six year old in one of their parks. When have you heard about anything like that? Have you heard of any heinous crimes like that amongst them at all? Now, will they do the thing to you? We can see what they'll do to you as far as, you know, um, guys over there. Yeah, they'll get down, but they're not going to get down on themselves like that. See, they'll get down on these other nations, but they ain't going to get down on themselves like that. Straight up. You're not about to hear in no Jewish community that um, 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 uh, 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 some Jewish kid, he was listening to, you know, um, um, some Jewish rap music and, and hanging out of the window of a damn Camaro gunning down people. Now, you're not about to hear, you know, he's not at the gas station. You know what I'm saying? Buying Black and Miles and Lucy's and shit, you know, with a goddamn AK. On, on, on the passenger seat <laughs> You're not hearing about that man You're not about to hear about No Jewish women uh, 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 Standing on the top of no goddamn cop car Twerking man Come on bro Let's just be real here We are the Israelites We And you know that we are By the, by the, by the, the scriptures Them curses says it all We fit every single one of them curses You can read all the way through it I just brought out a couple of them To fit the, um, you know, the narrative of this particular lesson but read through it. And you'll see that, man, we at the bottom, man. Just read through it. There ain't nothing to, to check into it, man. So I'm going to end out there, man. I pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashola.